Did you have any uh, feel like a, a point lost more than anything else at the end? No, not really. Uh, yeah, New Zealand are a really quality team, so um, they were top four team last year and they've started the season really well with three wins on the trot, so um, I was really proud of how our guys dug in. We had um, quite a few players missing on the, on the trip over and we lost, I think it was three players um, you know, during the game, so I was really proud of how the guys dug in, kept fighting. Um, it's a tough comp, so uh, come away with a point. Um, yeah, it was something that we can be proud of, but obviously, um, yeah, we, uh, we, we can't either win, we didn't, but that's, uh, that's life. Can you talk me through those injuries? And... Yeah, well, Benny Trebojevic, I think everyone saw Benny go off um, with his hamstring. Uh, Toff simply you know, came off with his knee. Um, Lockie Croker got taken off in a HIA, but it actually wasn't a head knock, it was actually his shoulder, so he was taken off as well. Um, you know, but, Ethan Bullimore got split uh, pretty heavily and stayed on. Um, and Hamola, you know, was, was working really hard there at the end, but he, he took a bump to his back, so um, I probably missed a couple as well. But yeah, it was pretty bad enough change for him, to be fair. But um, I was really proud of that. So, um, certainly in Trovich, probably the only ones definitely in um, doubt We'll have to get them assessed, mate, yeah. We'll have to get them assessed. So, Croker, there was no HIA in the end for Croker No. Yeah, he was ruled HA by the independent doctor, but it was actually shot. So our yeah, club doctor, um, yeah, assured me that there was no head knock there. But yeah, again, we'll look after the boys during the week, and we got another way trip next week. So um, yeah, we um, yeah, we keep fighting hard. I'm uh, really proud of the group where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, um, really proud of them. How do you assess what happened in the last 60 seconds of normal time? Yeah, it's not. You know, it's, it's, it's probably um, something I don't want to make comment on because if I say it shouldn't have been a penalty, I'll be called a whinger. Um, you know, if I say that it should have been a penalty, it should have been a penalty, then um, and potentially I'm not looking after the, you know, the players in my group. So, yeah, it was adjudicated a penalty, and we get on with it. Daly, how did you see it on the field? Yeah, it's just got to roll with the punches now. A lot of protection for kickers these days, so I think the whole a whole league's adjusting to that at the moment. And you've played a few goal point uh, games yourself. How was the intensity out there for that one compared to the last one? Yeah, really, really solid intensity. Um, just shows where they're at as a side. Um, top four last year, prelim. So um, for us to hold our gloves up against a side like that on their home turf. Um, and walking around pretty busted by the end, really proud, as our coach said. Um, that's, a, that's a really brave effort. When Sean Johnson's lining up that sideline conversion with 40 seconds to go, what was going through your mind? We've gone a going point. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, it was a tough, tough golden point. I don't think... I don't think either side gave anyone a genuine, like, a really good look in that, so that's probably sums it up, right? Even the 10 minutes of extra time was played in your own half. So, um, again, just a sign of the game of how tough it was. Um, a big battle through the middle. And again, we come here for two points. We got one. So, I guess we just have to take one, lick our wounds, and get ready for next week. And what do you think is behind Manly's improvement, obvious improvement this season so far? Oh, everyone. There's, there's no one thing when it comes to improving a club. Um, our coach has been working hard over the last one and a half seasons um, with his staff, which has really helped us. And the playing group's obviously really buying into what looks good and what feels good for us. So it's a team effort. And I think um, the more we keep working together, um, the better we're going to look and, and, and play and ultimately get to the goals that we're chasing, um, which is where they were last year. David, just at 16 a half, what do you think? Um, yeah, obviously, I'm really happy with our start. We, we come here to have a fast start, so that was a great sort of um, indication of how committed we were to that. But, um, yeah, ultimately, um, momentum changed, and um, we'll have to look at whether we can do things better when momentum does change. But, um, you know, credit to the Warriors for fighting back, and, yeah, tough game, tough opposition. Just a little field goal, goal point. Did they get a hand on one of for that, or was just...? Um, I don't think so. No, I just might be getting old and couldn't reach it. <laughs> um, just on injuries, Matt Lodge, any chance for next week and Jason Sutherland? Yeah, yeah, they'll both be back next week, yeah, yeah, which is good. And uh, Ruben Garrick will come back as well and Nathan Brown, so we get a few troops back next week. We've just got to, uh, it looks like, you know, three or four guys in, three or four guys out. So, um, 
Yeah, but it's, it's, it's really timely that a few guys are back healthy again and, and available for selection. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And, of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Owner. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.